All right, quick update for Bonfire ticker symbol FIDA. In the last video, we basically outlined that if we do drop below this 250 level, then at least in my opinion, I do believe that we're going to be back testing this previous resistance, which at that point would hopefully be flipped support. You can see that this resistance is fairly significant and it has been in play since the 3rd of November. So it's been in play for three months now. If we do zoom in, you can see that we strongly blasted out of this without even coming back testing it. So in my opinion, I do think that we are going to at least come back, back test it one more time. I mean, you could you could argue that we did somewhat back test it here, but in my opinion, I mean, I just I, I would prefer a stronger back test and some more confirmation. So I'm still sticking with what I said in the previous video, which is that if we lose 250, I would. I personally don't hold any co coins, uh, so I'm not worried at all. But I did say that if I did hold this coin and it dropped below 250, that I would be worried. You can see it did drop below 250, came down to 237, and it did have somewhat of a relief rally from there. It came up 15%, but obviously on the daily candles, if you look at this, we had a strong wick up followed by a huge rejection, which is not a good sign because normally when we see these huge wicks up, and um, uh, uh, if we have a small body and we have a huge wick up, it normally is indicative that we're going to fall down. There have been times like, you know, here where we've had a very large wick that was rejected that it did not really matter. But as a general rule of thumb, I mean, if we look here, 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 uh, I guess you could kind of call this a, a large wick. And also, most notably, this one uh, all the way from 10 to 15. So most of the time when we do have these huge wicks to the upside followed by a very small candle body, or at least uh, the wick is much more engulfing than the candle body, then we do have a reversal where we do turn around from that price. And I do believe, like I said in the last video, if we do lose 250, that we're going to be rolling down to 175. And that was a 29% drop from what we estimated in last video. And you can see that as of the price we are now, we're about 1% down from where we estimated that yesterday. So, I mean, re really nothing has changed. But I did just want to give you an update because obviously you can see that we had this huge, huge wick up to 275. In my opinion, that is a fake out. We are still below the 286 and the 618. You can see that this wick basically came up to the 618, got rejected. So if you don't know, the 618 is the golden pocket and the most important zone that we need to be above in an uptrend. Or if we're in a downtrend, the 618 is the most common uh, target that we normally bounce and get strong rejections off. So we are currently below the 618. We're currently below the 786. My next target is somewhere down here at 175. So yeah, that's, that's really all I see for this coin right now. Um, if I did take a micro fib, you can also see that 214 may provide some support, but in my opinion, for me to touch this coin or even think about longing this coin, I would need to see a retest of the bottom of this trend line at 175 flip support. So yeah, that's all I'm seeing for Bonfire right now. Once again, none of this is financial advice and it is just my opinion on the market and you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.